This is my closure, and it's balding very badly. I can even show you another section. So, I tried all the methods, you know, using eyeshadow, concealer, all that good stuff. But, it just seems as though it it's just bald. So, I am going to use Sophiology's two closure method to try to fix this. So, this is a closure that was originally purple. Um, I used some... I got this from Sally. It was like 85 cents. Um, you know, just so that I can get this closure to match this one because I had dyed it red. Um, so what I'm going to do, so Sophia's method, she actually cuts, um, one closure in half and then leaves a full closure in the middle to kind of make like a makeshift frontal. So this is going to be the full closure and I'm going to take this closure and cut it in half. So let me just flip this inside out for you. So the balding is actually, so I kind of got lucky because the balding is in the middle, right? So you can see all this eyeshadow that I used to try to fix it, but there's really no use. So I'm just going to cut it directly in the middle and then stitch it onto the other half. I know this is so ghetto, but you know, it's been 15 minutes, so I'm going to rinse this out and then I'll be back to sew this onto my already made wig so let's hope that this works out so the closure was actually i had actually dyed this purple like a really long time ago and this color you know pretty much like made it the same color as my wig when this wig was originally like a reddish pink color um almost purple so this stuff is actually really good even it was cheap i got it at from Sally's it was on sale for 85 cents so um it did a good job so I rinsed all the color out and now I'm going to co-wash it with this conditioner I love this conditioner it was on sale for like seven dollars at CVS it's usually like ten dollars or eleven dollars with tax this stuff works wonders especially for the natural girls but I just like to use it on my dyed hair just because it's good for dry hair so here I am showing the bald spots in the actual closure. I decided to do a voiceover because my little mannequin head keeps making a really squeaky sound and I'm pretty sure you guys are going to get really annoyed by that. So I decided to do a voiceover instead. So here I'm just saying how um, there is still hair on one side of the closure but i don't like to part my hair this way it took me two days to make this wig and like i would like to wear the hair the way that i like to wear it and now i'm showing you how the other side has a little more balding and then like you can see that i tried to cover it up with eyeshadow and then it just gets worse so there is no hope for this closure so it's time to just Go ahead and start this process. So I'm just going to part it in the middle. And this is where I'm going to begin to cut, right? So I'm going to cut it right down the middle. And um, that's where I'm going to place this closure. So here we go. Be very careful. Um, you want to make sure that you always cut less than more because if you, you know, obviously if you cut more, you can't really, there's nothing you can really do about it. So just, you know, try to cut a little less and then see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. It could be a cute little U part. I have natural hair, so I can't do a U part. So I'm just going to cut off this excess lace on the sides because I'm not going to add another closure and still have bald spots like that's not cute so i'm just here cutting the excess lace 
on one side and then I'm going to cut the excess lace on the other side. Um, yes. I don't know what the hell I was going on and on about, um, but here I am. I'm cutting that second lace part. And what you want to do um, with this, is I was just going on and on about who knows what, but I cut it out. So you won't be able to see it. But so now that I've tied up the closure, I'm going to put a bobby pin in it and then we're gonna line it up with the front of the actual wig right so you just take your closure see it's all messed up or whatever and then you want to line it up with the front not the back because I don't want to make this closure bumpy so I kind of want to get rid of that like you know the things that the closure have on the sides so right now I'm just lining it up so that I can see where I want to cut so I don't know if you can see it but there's an actual hole in my closure there it is right so I already know that I want to cut that part out because it's overlapping past the place where the original closure stopped so See, you see how it's overlapping? So that hole is actually the perfect place for me to cut so that the closure can fit just right. So I just finished cutting my closure and this is what I came up with. Uh, a very weird square rhombus kind of thing. You know, whatever. We're not in math class anymore. So I'm just going to take that really well cut side and lining up with the wig right um i cut it this way so that it can give me like a blueprint or like a better guideline to how i'm gonna cut the back and then the side so what i do after that is i flip the wig inside out so that i can see the lace which makes it easier for me to sew it on so I just skipped that part um, and so now the wig is inside out and I'm just uh, matching it up again. So I'm broke and I'm cheap so I don't like to use T-pins or I don't like to buy T-pins so I used a bobby pin with my ghetto self but I started um, sewing behind the bobby pin and what you want to do is sew lace to lace. Because if you sew onto the cap, I think that it's going to create like a weird bulkiness. And, you know, we want this wig to be popping. You know, it had holes in it before and we don't want to fix it for it to be bumpy. No siree, Bob. So just make sure that you're sewing on the lace that's closest to the edge but like don't sew it where you think it's going to rip, you know, uh, make sure that you're putting the needle into a place where you feel like there's a lot of security and it's going to last you a long time. Um, Sophie, Sophia, sorry, Sophia um, mentioned um, using like a flesh tone colored um, thread for the front so that when you do put your hair up no one will see it but I like because this is a closure I only tend to rock like the front the front the middle part or like a side part and not really a deep side part so I don't have to do that for this wig but if you do put your hair up and then like to have that deep side part you might want to do that just because um if you are the type who likes to like put your hair behind your ear, um, you know, the thread might be a little visible and, you know, you don't want anyone to know it's a wig or whatever. I mean, like, I don't care because I'm bald, so people know it's a wig, but there are some people who just like to 
be laid and slayed and there ain't nothing wrong with that girl get your Beyonce on so I'm just gonna speed this part up because I'm pretty sure if you're watching this you know how to sew so I'm gonna shut up now <laughs> So I just finished sewing the one side and this is what it looks like, you know, um, very full, no holes. That was, the here is our final product. So no more holes. Our closure is officially fixed. You don't have to worry about doing the Donald Trump comb over anymore. Um, no eyeshadow needed, eyebrow pencil, none of that. See, those methods are good if your closure is balding slightly. But I was doing like the mid 60s you know old man balding with my closure so i had to get that shit in check asap so this is what the wig finally looks like um i cut some layers into it um you know i really like it like before it was just really hard to work with because like the holes and i had to do you know like the donald trump comb over and that's not cute you know uh so um i may do like a few baby hairs just because the hair is red and i don't have red hair um i was thinking about making the roots a little black because the front you see how like it's more vibrant than the rest i actually the back is actually like red copper that i mixed in with that red so it was actually supposed to be like more of an orangey color so that's why it kind of looks darker but overall like i really like um how this came out um i don't have to worry about parting my hair a certain way and i really hope that this helped and you know if my video doesn't help that well as far as like the method like I said, this was a video by Sophieology, so it's basically the same method, you know, cut two closures and half stitch them together. So if you want to see more of, like, the sewing, then you should definitely check her video out. But if you have holes in your closure, a big gaping hole in the middle, and you don't want to buy a new one or you're too broke to buy one, this method will definitely work. Um, this is my first YouTube video. My name is Felice. Um, I went to beauty school for a year. Uh, I quit the first day of the second year just because I just didn't want to be a cosmetologist for a career. Um, if there are any videos that you guys want to see, I can definitely do that. I know how to curl hair, um, do wet curls, so like, you know. Uh, what are, what are those things called? Pin curls, um, roller sets. Um, I know, um, that a lot of YouTubers like to use curling irons, but sometimes I like to do overnight curls because they just have more volume. And then, like, for hair that doesn't, um, curl well with the flat iron or, um, the iron in general, you can kind of do those wet curls overnight because they actually stay in the hair. So that's kind of my method around you know cheap hair that doesn't really take curl that well um so that's it my name is felici like i said this is my first youtube video thank you